All right, so we've got this boring audio file and we want to make it sound more like an explosion. So we're going to have some fun with it. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight the tracks by just dragging our mouse over it so that it's it's all um, kind of highlighted in blue there. And then we're going to go to effect. Now we've got all of these different effects that we can do and the effects can really change the sound of this. So for instance, I'm going to just play it so you have a reference here. All right, that's our pretty cheesy sound effect. Now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and add some reverb to that. Now the reverb will make it have a like, kind of like a delay, almost make it sound like it's in space. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just actually preview it here with this sound. Oh, very cool. So we got a little bit more stuff. We're gonna make uh, space a little bigger. We're gonna mess with some of these delays. Now here's the thing, you can't do this wrong. We're just having some fun with it. All right, so there we go. Now it doesn't have much of a, a roar to it. So what we're gonna do is uh, let's try something like uh, with a pitch. Let's see if we can find something that'll give us a little bit more of that kind of pitchy sort of sound. Let's see here, change pitch right there. We're gonna go ahead and add, add this. Let's change the pitch to A sharp and let's uh, mess with this a little bit. Let's go ahead and hit preview. Not quite what we're looking for. Let's go down this way. Ooh, too much. <laughs> All right, we're getting, it almost sounds like we've got a lion roar in here. Let's go ahead and mess with this a little bit more. So you can see that you can take almost any sound and really turn it into something pretty cool. Let's do this, so let's go ahead and increase the volume of this. So we're gonna go to Amplify. We're gonna increase the volume by a little bit. There we go, so we got a bigger wave. And let's just take the effect and let's just go ahead and maybe add a little bit of a phaser to it so it sounds maybe a little bit like it's in a space explosion. <coughs> Nice, there we go. So that's our space sound. So let's go ahead and export that after we're finished and we'll just call it explosion. We had an explosion already. Let's call it explosion two. And we'll remember that that is our, our modified version. Let's go ahead and save that. And we can have some fun as well with our, our other track if you wanted to kind of mess around with that, you know, add some effects for that, uh, um, shooting sound, you know, things like reverb, um, you know, reversing the sound, doing different things. All of these effects will change it. Your students will love to just kind of click through here, find out what they do. And you can even take it so far as to say, hey, find out what all of these things do because they actually all have a function uh, for audio recording. And so, you know, you might teach them about compression, distortion, you know, adding in the reverb, um, changing scale and pitch and doing all that stuff. Really a lot of conversations could go into this, um, but it's really a lot of fun to make these uh, different sound effects. So enjoy it and, and we'll have a lot of fun adding these into our game now because it's going to sound so much better.